In an ambitious endeavor to enhance connectivity between France and Italy, a monumental $28 billion railway tunnel is being constructed through the Alps. This project, known as the Mont Dambin Base Tunnel, is part of the larger Line Turin High Speed Railway Initiative. Slated for completion in 2032, the tunnel aims to revolutionize transportation in the region, promoting sustainable travel and economic integration. The initiative highlights the ongoing commitment of both nations to strengthen their infrastructure and facilitate smoother, more efficient cross-border travel. With its completion, the tunnel is expected to reduce travel time significantly, enhancing economic ties and cultural exchange between the two countries. Project Scope and Progress The Mont Dambin Base Tunnel, which will stretch 57.5 kilometers, is set to become the world's longest rail tunnel upon completion. The tunnel construction is divided into multiple lots, each managed by different contractors. For instance, Lot 1 covers 22 kilometers from Villa Rodin Borgia to the Italian portal, while Lot 2 spans 23 kilometers between St. Martin de la Porte and Modane. The work on these sections is expected to take between 65 to 72 months, highlighting the project's complexity. This division of labor ensures that specialized teams handle the unique challenges posed by each segment, optimizing the construction process and mitigating risks associated with such a massive undertaking. Additionally, the construction involves significant coordination between French and Italian authorities to manage cross-border regulatory and logistical challenges. This coordination extends to harmonizing safety standards, environmental protections, and labor regulations to ensure the project's seamless progression. Furthermore, advanced project management techniques and real-time communication systems are being employed to monitor progress and address any issues promptly, ensuring adherence to the stringent timelines and quality standards set for this international endeavor. Engineering innovations and technological challenges the project employs cutting-edge engineering techniques and technology to overcome the inherent challenges of boring through the Alps. For instance, the tunnel boring machines used are among the most advanced in the world, designed to handle varying geological conditions, including hard rock and unstable soil. The TBMs are equipped with sophisticated navigation systems to ensure precise tunneling. Additionally, Traditional drilling and blasting methods are used in areas where the rock formation is not suitable for TBMs, demonstrating a blend of old and new technologies in the construction process. The integration of these technologies not only improves efficiency, but also enhances safety for the workers involved. Furthermore, real-time monitoring systems are in place to detect and address any geological instabilities promptly. These monitoring systems use advanced sensors and data analytics to provide continuous feedback, allowing for immediate adjustments to tunneling operations. The project also incorporates state-of-the-art ventilation and air quality control systems to protect workers from hazardous conditions. This comprehensive approach ensures that the project adheres to the highest standards of safety and efficiency leveraging technological advancements to tackle the formidable engineering challenges presented by the alpine terrain. Challenges and environmental impact. The construction has faced several challenges, including difficult geological conditions near the French portal, which necessitated traditional drilling and blasting methods for certain sections. Furthermore, the project has sparked significant environmental concerns. Protesters argue that the tunnel could damage local ecosystems particularly water sources in the mountainous region. These protests have been a recurring issue with significant demonstrations occurring in 2023, despite government efforts to address environmental concerns. The environmental impact assessments have led to modifications in the project plan, aiming to minimize ecological disruption while maintaining project efficiency. Mitigation measures, such as water management systems and reforestation initiatives, have been implemented to address the environmental concerns raised by local communities and activists. Financial and technical aspects. The tunnel's cost is a shared burden between France, Italy, and the European Union, with the European Union covering 40% of the expenses. The French and Italian governments, along with regional bodies, are responsible for the remaining costs. 
This financial collaboration underscores the tunnel's importance as a transnational infrastructure project. The funding mechanism also includes private investments, showcasing a public-private partnership model that aims to leverage both governmental oversight and private sector efficiency. The financial structure is designed to ensure long-term viability and economic return on investment, reflecting the project's strategic importance. Additionally, the project has received backing from international financial institutions, which see the tunnel as a critical component of Europe's broader transport network. The tunnel is designed to accommodate both high-speed passenger trains and freight trains, operating at speeds of up to 220 km. This dual-purpose design aims to shift freight traffic from road to rail, significantly reducing CO2 emissions and easing road congestion. The project also includes extensive preparatory work, such as station renovations and the construction of ventilation shafts. These ancillary projects are crucial for the seamless integration of the new tunnel into the existing railway infrastructure, ensuring operational efficiency from day one. Furthermore, the tunnel's design incorporates advanced safety features, including emergency evacuation routes and state-of-the-art fire suppression systems. Community engagement and stakeholder involvement. Community engagement has been a critical aspect of the project, given its significant impact on local populations. Regular consultations with local communities, environmental groups, and other stakeholders have been conducted to address concerns and incorporate feedback into the project planning. The project managers have also initiated several community outreach programs to educate the public about the benefits of the tunnel and its long-term economic impact. This proactive approach aims to build public trust and support, which is essential for the project's smooth progression. Efforts include informational sessions, public hearings, and the establishment of community liaison offices to ensure continuous communication and transparency. Economic and social implications. The Lion Turin Tunnel is more than just an engineering feat. It represents a significant economic and social shift. By linking two major European cities more efficiently, the tunnel is expected to boost trade, tourism, and cross-border cooperation. The project also aims to create jobs and stimulate economic growth in the region, particularly in construction and related industries. The economic benefits extend beyond direct employment, influencing various sectors such as logistics, manufacturing, and services, thereby fostering regional development. Additionally, the improved connectivity is expected to enhance the competitiveness of businesses in both France and Italy, facilitating faster and more reliable transport of goods. However, the social implications are not without controversy. The environmental protests highlight a broader debate about infrastructure development and its impact on local communities. Balancing economic growth with environmental sustainability remains a key challenge for the project stakeholders. Ongoing dialogues with environmental groups aim to find a middle ground that addresses ecological concerns while advancing the project. The involvement of independent environmental monitors ensures that the project adheres to stringent ecological standards. These efforts underscore the project's commitment to sustainable development and social responsibility. Current status and future outlook. As of 2024, significant milestones have been achieved. Breakthroughs have been made in the construction of the new Tenda Tunnel, another critical component of the overall project. By mid-2024, international traffic is expected to begin through sections of the tunnel, marking a significant step forward. This progress is a testament to the robust project management and the collaborative efforts of the French and Italian teams. Continuous monitoring and adaptive management practices are in place to ensure the project stays on track and within budget. Moreover, the use of innovative construction techniques has helped mitigate some of the delays caused by unforeseen geological challenges. Despite these advancements, there is still a substantial amount of work to be done. Approximately 47 kilometers of the tunnel remain to be bored. The real deep tunnel boring is set to commence next year with the arrival of a specially built tunnel boring machine. At its peak, the project will employ seven boring machines simultaneously, reflecting the scale and complexity of this engineering endeavor. 
The project timeline includes contingency plans to address unforeseen challenges, ensuring that the overall completion date remains achievable. The remaining construction phases will focus on the most challenging sections, requiring meticulous planning and execution. That's all for today's video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell icon so you never miss an update from us. Your support helps us bring you more exciting and informative content. See you in the next video.